In this brief demonstration, we're going to go through the work order module within the GovPilot platform. So when logging into the system, you will be greeted with a set of tiles. Uh, so you can access all of your work orders or any subset of your work orders, ones that are just assigned to me, ones that need to get completed by today. For here on my custom dashboard, I see all of them and then ones that are assigned to me. So let me go ahead and access all of them. I can simply click on the tile and I'm brought to all of my work orders that ex are existing within the system. Uh, now I may be a department head or I may be a technician at the public works department. I could go ahead and put a new one in. Um, if I'd like to start something new, I could go ahead and put a status that this one's in progress. Um, and what's the job type? Uh, we can say that it's uh, any sort of detailed piece of information here with a type and, and a subtype. And then we could assign it to a specific department. And we put a description on the job. And what I could do is I could actually um, put a vehicle on this. Um, and then if I'd like, I could go ahead and actually assign the work and schedule it out. If we think that we're going to be going out uh, to do this tomorrow, we may be going out to perform this work tomorrow in the morning. So I can go ahead and do that. I could save that here and that throws that on my calendar. And then I could assign some people that are gonna actually be doing it. Uh, so I can put myself And if there's going to be multiple vehicles on this, we could add multiple vehicles as well. We could go ahead and here and put uh, different vehicles on it too, if we'd like. If not, we're just using the one uh, that's been assigned for the main unit of work. We can just leave it as is. Uh, so this would be assigned um, and put in progress. We could go ahead and save that record. So now I have a couple different ways that I could actually access my work order. Um, so if I log into the system, I mentioned, uh, I can have a tile that takes me to all of my work orders. In this case, uh, when I first started the demonstration, I had one, now it has two. So I could access them here to open and uh, make note of. Uh, or there is a scheduler field where depending upon who I schedule it for, they can go out, they can access uh, the calendar event, but more importantly, you can actually open the record from the calendar event. Uh, so anytime things are assigned through the calendar, I can easily access all of those records here. So I come to my calendar, I can open that record, and it'll take me directly to that record. Uh, so uh, when I'm actually going into the assignment, um, I'm putting all the specific pieces of information. Uh, how long did it take me to do it? it? Took me two hours, let's say. I could go ahead and save that. I can put that it's now closed, um, and that's it. If we need to also print anything out, there's a couple options that come at the bottom of the screen once we save our record. Um, if we want to see who the assignment was or some summary with regards to the work order, we can print those pieces of information out. Who it's assigned to, what vehicles did we put in, um, or the work order itself, uh, if should paper forms uh, be needed. Uh, so again, uh, all the different data points here can be cut and sliced however you'd like. Uh, how many work orders are being assigned to DPW, how long is it taking for them to do it, um, and, and what are we doing, you know, how many different job types are there, as well as subtypes, um, you know, to help allocate resources, uh, as well as uh, discuss funding and, and perhaps needing additional resources. Again, you know, having the data to say uh, how much work is being done on a daily basis and how much time we're being allocated, um, all helps with regards to those causes and initiatives. Uh, so this was a brief high-level overview as to the work order module within the GovPilot platform. Thank you.